Welcome everyone, my name is Paul Max. Today I'm bringing you week number 8 of the PTL D3 Season 1. This week we are taking on the Hungry Badoop and the Anho Apsils, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, he's a person in this league, so yeah, his link's right in the description. Um, yeah, we are facing him, and there's, you know, I told you this week for these games I'm trying to catch up on the uploads. I wasn't going to do team builder, not graphics or anything, but this is a special game. And this is a special team that I built, so I wanted to show off at least to the team builder. I'm not sure if I'm going to do graphics or wrestling music, but I wanted to do the team builder for this game. Because I wanted to show you this team that I brought in full detail and why I brought it. So yeah, that is why you're seeing this. And let's go through the team that he could bring, shall we? His team is Lando T with z Moose, Skarmory, Arcanine, Chansey, Toxpex, Aromatisse, Quagsire, Mega Absol, Decidueye, Wobbuffet, Dusclops, and Flygon. Now, his season, he has brought very similar sets to all season. I don't think I've seen a time where he's actually like fully prepped for a team that he's playing, but rather just brought sets to try to annoy people. And I knew that going in, so I didn't even bother building in my front office. Didn't send him anything about this team. I knew exactly how I wanted to approach this game. This season, he's basically brought Chansey Toxpex to like pretty much every game, and Aromatisse pretty much every game. Those three have always been coming. Because they're clerics and, and would have wish and can, you know, toxic things a lot. He's also brought Mega Absol a lot, and Mega Absol's usually call mine with wish as well. And then he also, uh, you know, he brings occasionally other things, but yeah. He also likes uh, Decidueye in some form. He likes Wobbuffet because Wobbuffet. He likes Land of T sometimes, not often. And I think he brought Flygon once. But I don't think I've seen Dusclops come once all season. I don't think I've seen Quagsire. I don't think I've seen Scarmory. I don't think I've seen Arcanine. He's brought pretty much that, uh, six of those same eight that I mentioned every week. And every week he just tries to be, you know, try to annoy people. And try to bring sets that are meant to be stally and annoying. And so I brought a team to counter specifically that. Because I'm certain he's going to bring that exact type of thing. So what I have here. First mod is my Aegislash with the leftovers. I have a lot of leftovers in this team. Shadow Sneak, Iron Head, Swords Dance, and King Shield, Max Attack, Adamant, Max HP, Force for Death. This thing just counters Chansey hard. I know it doesn't touch packs super hard, um, but maybe I get some Iron Head flunges, that's cool, but I have other things that deal with packs on this team. This is mainly there for every time Chansey comes in, this thing can come in if I need it too. So yeah, that is Age of Slash, very, very simple, full setup. And you see full setup, that's going to be a theme here. Next up we have our Latias. We have Lita the Latias. Leading killer on the team. Max speed, because I want to speed time Mega Absol, the only thing that can potentially speed time me as a team. Dragon Pulse, Psy Shock, Calm Mind, Roost, with the Psyche MZ. This thing destroys him a lot. It does a lot of work to him. Uh, he likes Haze on Tox Specs, but that doesn't want him to take on this. And the Psy Shock and whatnot, and the Psyche MZ can do a lot to Chansey. Uh, so if I get some Calm Minds up, I'm offensive. Psy Shock will be doing a lot to him. Next up, we have the Togekiss. Togekiss and Lias are probably my main two win cons. But you see, this is also set up. I have enough speed for uh, the uh, Owl, the Zidueye. Heal Bell, Nasty Plot, Air Slash, Roost. I would like to flinch him down while being super strong. And having Heal Bell for when he toxics Togekiss, because I'm sure he will, will be great. So what I hope to do is get a couple Nasty Plots, then Heal Bell away when he's not expecting me to toxic, and then just go for air slash and hope for flinches. And I hope I flinch him. Because, yeah. And that's what I'm going for with the Tokus. And we'll see if it wins. Because it could just flat out win. If I get up, set it up enough and get up enough flinches, it could just be over with this thing right here. Next up, I need a Quagsire counter. Obviously, Quagsire can stop setup and set up spam. Because, you know, unaware. But I need to make sure I had an actual set check to that thing. So I have my Breloom. Hawk the Breloom with the Toxic Orb, Poison Heal. Um, I thought about bringing leftovers and just letting him toxic me, because then I'd get leftovers and toxic orb. But I didn't want to risk that, so I just got the toxic orb. Leech seed, bulk up, seed bomb, and drain punch. Obviously, leech seed, you know, if a lot of you know, leech seed on a lot of things on his team is nice. Bulk up to try set up and seed bomb and drain punch, you know, to do things. Uh, this, the bulk up allows me to take hits better from things like Decidueye if he does bring offensive Decidueye, which he has brought occasionally, um, as well as Lando T potentially if he doesn't have uh, Z Fly. Or Arcanine if he decides to bring it for once, or Skarmory if he decides to bring it for once. Um, but this thing's meant to just be uh, mainly a check to Quagsire. That's really the only reason it's there is to check Quagsire in case. 
but I could also do other things, get lead seeds off on things to be able to allow, get into another set of sweeper. Yeah, so that's cool. Next up, uh, another set of sweeper. We have Suicune, Tyler Breeze of Suicune, uh, Resto Chesto, uh, Calm Mind, Skull, Extra Sensory, Modest, Max Special Attack, Max HP, um, Foreign Speed, just, you know, in case he wants to creep a little bit. Um, yeah, the Extra Sensory is there, so at plus one I can do eight crap ton to, to uh, attack specs and potentially get a flinch into a KO it. Um, this thing is strong enough to be able to do that to attack specs, so hopefully I get that chance uh, to do that and get that flinch off of the extra sensory. Um, but the Calm Mind mod special, max special attack allows me also to do more damage to the uh, Chansey as well. And this thing, you know, just walls to Chansey hard. Chansey can't do anything to me. Um, and can deal with most of his team as well. It's also my main Suicune check. Uh, so you can Lando T check in case I need one. If he goes in Lando T, I immediately go into this um, because if he's at plus one uh, or plus two, I think I can still take a non Z move and just kill it with Scald. If he's at plus two speed, I obviously take any hit from it and kill it with a Scald. And if he doesn't go for speed, then I can just go into something like my um, Latias and uh, pick up the kill with a Z move or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's Suicune. Uh, and now. I, I can't bring just set of sweepers. I need to at least bring some support. I need some hazards. I need some wish support. So the next I have is my Blissey. Uh, Chris, I'm on the Blissey with leftovers, Stealth Rock, Wish, Toxic, Seismic Toss, Full Fizz, Death, you know, the usual. And I also put a little bit of speed in there to make sure I outspeed his Chansey. Um, but yeah, this thing's meant to keep all my set of sweepers healthy. Most of them have recovery. I think everyone has lefties except for Latias, and Latias has Roost itself. Um, obviously, Burnlum has Toxic Orb uh, for the Toxic Heal, so that's even better than Lefties, and has Leap Seed. Um, but yeah, you know, the pass 180 HP wishes to everything on my team, which gives full health to everything on my team, barring uh, Suicune. Suicune's the only thing that doesn't get full health uh, from a wish. Uh, so, and he has enough, doesn't have a lot of offensive things, so if I have Blissey and get a wish up on anything that isn't an offensive thing, which will be most of his team, cool, I get a free switch to whatever I want and they get back to full health. He does not break my team. There's something he could do to break this team. It's basically how quick does my team break his. That's the way he plays, and I'm going to go and try to take advantage of that. So, with that being said, let's hop right into the battle, and let's see how this one went. And we are back with the battle. Uh, again, I'm not sure if I'm using my graphics in this game, but if I am, hey, my graphics are back. If not, uh, they'll be back next game. Um, but yeah, we have battle here against Hungry Bidoof, and you see he brought Broach when I said he would. He brought Mega Absol. He brought Lando T, he brought Aromatisse, he brought Chansey, he brought Toxpex, and he brought Decidue. I'm pretty sure Toxpex and Chansey will have no moves. Uh, no attacking moves. They'll probably have Toxic, Protect, um, Recovery, and then something else. Uh, I don't know what Toxpex would have. Oh yeah, Haze, and Chansey will probably have uh, uh, Heal Belt. Um, Lando T. Uh, he could actually bring a traditional offensive, but every time he's brought he's brought kind of weird. Mega Absol I expect to be Calm Mind Mega Absol. In past, he's brought Mono Water Pulse purely for the Confusion Hacks. I wouldn't be surprised if he brings that again. And he brings Toxic as a fourth move with Wish uh, Or he brings Wish Protect, uh, uh, Calm Mind, and Water Pulse. Uh, Decidueye, he's brought SD in the past, so he could bring that. But he's also like Screens uh, or just being a Toxic Stall set. So we'll see. Aroma Tease, he brought, has brought Bandit a couple times. Um, but we'll see. Chansey could also have Power Up Punch because we'll see T Tar and go Power Up Punch. Even though Power Up Punch is literally worthless on a Chansey. It literally, like, he used it on Bisharp like three times and then at plus three it, it did like 10% to a Bisharp or something like that. So he could have that, but I really would expect him to have no attacking moves. And so I won't be surprised if he has at least two things with no attacking moves here. And so we're gonna just do what we can set up. So I don't want him to leave with Lando T and kill anything else on my team. So I'm. See, Wiku is my set lead here. Purely because if Lando T leads, it could be a problem for a lot of my things. Not a lot of them, but a few of my things. The best lead uh, to counter that is Suicune, and I could play accordingly if he goes into any of his other annoying things. So, I'm going to lead off my Suicune. We're going to hop right in this battle. We're going to see how this one went. I'm going to lead off with Suicune. As I said, I'm about to put this on slow. And he does lead off with Lando T, so I'm just going to fire off a Skull here. No reason not to, as he's going to just go hard out into his chain. He's not going for U-turn, kind of tells me that he is set up. Uh, or he's special, which he's run in the past. But we do 30% with that. And now, right here, I'm going to go for the Calm Mind as he goes into his Decidueye. Now, I don't want to risk him actually being a set of offensive set. I don't really touch this super well, even with Extra Sensory. So I'm going for my Blissey. And he's going to go for the Toxic here. If he'd gone for SD, I could have just gone and gone for Air Slash and been fine. But right here, now, I believe I go for the Nasty Plot as I do. And he's actually going to go for the Light Screen. So he is screened with Toxic and probably Roost's his final move. Which tells me then Decidueye is not having any attacking moves just like his Chansey and Toxics probably don't. 
as he's now going to go on his chances i go for the heal bell revealing that for the first time i only have seven more so i have to be more liberal with mine but now i'm just gonna go for another nasty bot there's no reason not to just go oh no i go for the air slash kind of hoping for a flinch and trying to stall out the light screen a little bit but now i'm gonna go for the nasty plot again uh making sure i can actually do some damage to his team so we go for a, a second nasty plot and i'm thinking about going for a third one he goes for another toxic here as uh his light screen is one more turn i'm gonna click uh heal bell here again hoping he goes for like seismic toss or something like that or wish or something he just goes for toxic and he's gonna spam toxic because he knows i have heal bell so i'm gonna take advantage of this i'm just gonna go for the air slash and try to get the flinch here and yeah we do go for the air slash and we do in fact get the flinch and now we kill him with another one which is really really nice um so yeah this thing is at uh near full health and uh yeah now he's gonna go into his aroma as i'm gonna go for the heal bell now uh, kind of hoping he'd try to heal up or something like that. But now, I'm just going to go for the uh, Air Slash. He's brought Banded Gyro Ball in the past. I'm not going to risk anything. I'm going go for the Air Slash. And we just get into the flinch. And now this thing dies to another one. And our Togus is at full health and a plus four. And there's not really too much you can do about it. So I'm going to go for the Air Slash. And we're going to take out the Aromatisse. Uh, so shout out to Togus being awesome. As he's going to his Tox specs now. Now, I can't kill this thing. But I can hope I get the flinch. I do not get the flinch. And he's going to go for the Haze here. Bit unfortunate, but now I'm just gonna click another air slash. He doesn't have a good air slash switch, and he has no flying resist except for Skarm on his entire roster, which didn't come. He's gonna go hard into his Lando T, and we're gonna go for the air slash right here, and we do not uh, kill here. Uh, I mean, I don't know do 50%, but now I'm just going to Suicune, because I already mentioned, if this thing comes in, I'm going to Suicune in case he's set up, and he's in fact going to go for the Rock Polish. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to click Skull now, it kills him as he goes for the Swords Dance. Uh, I don't know what he's expecting, but I'm going to go for the Skull, and we're just going to kill his Land of T. So now his only real offensive threat in his entire game is now gone. Uh, so yeah, I just have to do more setup things and do more annoying things, so... He's going to go his Mega Absol, I'm going to go for the Calm Mind, see if he is Calm Mind himself, and he is in fact Calm Mind. And while I could get into a Calm Mind War with this thing, I'd rather not risk anything and risk him actually getting set up, and he does have Wish. So I'm just going to Breloom and probably, he probably won't have Fire Move because he's, I know what he likes to bring. And so right here, I'm just going to, I believe, go for the Bulk Up as he goes for the Water Pulse. And we are going to go for, no, we're just going to go for the Drain Punch and we do not kill. But yeah, he goes for the Water Pulse and we get all our health back, which is really, really nice. And now he's going to go for the Water Pulse. I'm going to go for a Bulk Up this turn, because I'm pretty sure he can't touch me. As he gets the Confusion, which is annoying, but we get the Bulk Up up. We do not get Confused, which is really, really nice. Uh, and now we're just going to go for another Drain Punch. As he's actually going to set up a Wish, hoping we get Confused. We snap out of Confusion. We're going to go for the Drain Punch, and we're going to take this thing out. So Breloom doesn't get a kill, and Breloom is at plus one, plus one. And depending on how much uh, HP, like how well he can take a Seed Bomb with... Uh, Pax, this could just be over with Breloom right here. We're going to go for the Seabomb. We're going to hope we kill, but unfortunately, he lives on 2%, which means he's going to be able to get off a Haze. Now, I should have just clicked Seed Bomb and tried to kill this. Oh, no, his Wish is right. So, right here, I go for the Leech Seed uh, because I want to be able to get health back and wear this thing down so we can't just click Haze on me. And he does go for the Haze, just get, uh, you know, trying to wear me down. And this turn is actually where he is going to decide to forfeit. Because uh, he actually had no offensive moves on either of his three remaining mods. He decided to just forfeit here, which is not really allowed in the league. But what would actually would have happened here, I would have gone hard into Latias in this turn. And Latias just won. Because Latias could side shock and kill this thing. And I could then Psyche uh, MZ the Decidueye. I could side shock or, and set up on the Chansey. Or could have Psyche MZ the Chansey. Done whatever. Either way, Latias won that game at that point. Um, like there's nothing he could have done because Chansey was worn down and whatnot, so I could have just set up one Calm Mind in front of the Pex. He probably wouldn't have clicked Haze, he probably would have clicked Toxic, and then I just click Psyshock, and it's over. Because if he switches out, he sacks off something else, he goes into the back of the Pex, I just like DMZ him, and then I go in, he goes in Chansey, he dies to a plus one Psyshock. So, Flyass gets the final three kills of the game. Shane Bradley couldn't clean up, and Shane couldn't actually finish out the game the way it should have gone. Um, but yeah. This is what happens when you don't prep seriously through a season. I know he probably doesn't care, but I mean that's exactly you know how often you see a team with five set of supers in the blissy, and it just that was one of the most satisfying six sells you're ever gonna see. I felt so good about that six sell. Um, so yeah, make sure you just leave a like and uh, you know, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed watching this. This was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, we're six and two now, third place in the league good potential spot for playoffs we need to you know beat the people in front of us we still have to play both people in front of us right now um and our differential is only slightly behind the person in second the person in first is undefeated still we'll fix that um when we play him in week 10 but with that being said leave a like and enjoy subscribe if you've not already so we have this ppl and udl and yeah 
with that being said, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for stopping by.